Get ready. Oh! Whoa! This is a good one. A lot of times these snakeheads are waiting along this thick grass to ambush stuff, same as the birds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak past them, go past and then cast and retrieve and bring this little frog right off the edge. We'll see in a second. That little smug sucker came out of nowhere. Oh. Man. They are tearing up this frog. I think the problem I'm having is I'm, I'm making these really far casts just because I can. This thing's casting so far. And I'm not really setting the hook hard enough. Let me grab another one. I'm gonna switch to a bigger frog. All right, so I've got a pile of these frogs. This is exactly what I'm using right here. Fish lab rattle toads. And anytime you're fishing for anything, you want to use the biggest hook you can get away with. There's a lot of structure and stuff for them to get hung up in here, so you want to try to be able to power them and pull them out. Um, and then what I do, this thing has the craziest little real life rattle. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And it sounds just like a frog in distress. So this is an honest God's truth. What I'd like to do is these frogs are so good and we weed proof. I like to bend this hook up just a hair. And a lot of times what that does is when that snakehead feels that and it pricks its mouth, snakeheads also have teeth in the chompers, like in, literally in the back of their gills. And if they feel something poke their mouth, a lot of times they'll inhale it again and you get them down further down the hatch. And then I take these. Now in the spring, I like these long ones because it gets their attention a little better. But this time of year, they're not really feeding as, as much as they do in the spring. Or, and I cut a third of that off like so. And I find the hookup ratio is a lot better. So this is gonna be your end result right here. I throw that in the garbage, but see the difference? I cut about that much off and uh, do the same thing on the other side. Take about three quarters of it off, take some side cutters. And if I was fishing in lily pads and stuff, I'd want these a little longer to get their attention. But depending on how they're feeding, like they are today, I want them to eat the whole thing. Get a better hookup ratio. That one can go back in the car for surgery. Now, these things are getting annihilated today. And that's about to change. We're about to throw one up on the shore here in a second. Okay. And this rod is insane. Look at that. See how it loads up the end like that? You can literally pull these fish and manhandle them. These are designed pretty much for bank fishing, fishing off the shore for everything. but. Look at that, see the way that bends at the end? It doesn't load up all the way down here. So you can really lay into these fish like that. I've honestly never casted that far in my life. Look at that. Now, a lot of you have asked what type of tackle we're using, and what type of line and stuff. We'll leave that in the description down below, everything we're using today. But for now, let's catch something. Oh, here comes one. Snakehead was waking it, and that bird, God, the bird is really messing me up. Whenever I present it properly, and I've got it coming in nice, the bird swoops over, snakehead tries to ambush it, and then end up having to pull it away from the bird. Okay, 
Get ready. Oh! What's oh, monster? Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is a good one. Did you see him come off that shore? I mean, it's a big fish. Now this rod's designed that it's strong all the way up. Got a lot of backbone. Oh. Damn. That's a good one. That's a really big fish and that's why so many people fish for him. Bites like that don't come every day. Oh man, I'm about to cry. This frog is so real, lifelike. I don't know if you saw that fish, it came from 75 feet away. And once it committed, it inhaled it. I should have set the hook a little harder maybe. That's all right, we're gonna catch another one. I don't think I'm gonna catch one that big though. That was amazing. So the morning bite, they were hitting the frogs really well. The water is super clear today, so they're not really committing. So I'm gonna try to switch it up, put a worm on, and try to, I'm gonna try to stay back a little bit. It's hard to sight fish these things because they see us before we see them. But I got an advantage here. I can cast half a mile down the thing. So I've got this little worm Got a teeny little weight on there. They smell like pigeon poop. There's a snake right here, stay still. Smoked it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh no. Wrapped in the weeds. It's the right species. I got a lot of drag on him too. He's just tangled up in there. If you guys have, I've lost quite a few fish this morning, so rather than a horse, I mean, I'm trying to. Get him in. Oh. In the into the mouth. I'm gonna show you what this rod's made for right here. So you can take it, and you can sling them up like that because this rod has the backbone of a big rod and then it bends at the end like that. And he's a little bigger than I thought. Whoa! Ah, he's walking on land. No! That's awesome. All right, well, redeem myself. Had to switch up to the worm. Right there. Nice bullseye, slippery snakehead. The reason I don't stick my fingers in the back of their gills, they've got little chompers on them. You gotta really squeeze them. Check that out. Awesome. Right in the edge of the mouth. Cool. Now, if any of you have a special way to hold these, let me know because I still, I can't ever get a hold of them. I lose my fingers. Nice bullseye snakehead. Bullseye on the tail, super strong, super delicious. He's going in the cooler. It's called a snakehead fish. That's what's eating all the baby ducks. Remember all the ducks that were here? Yeah. That's, this is, they're in this thing's mouth. Yeah. Ducks? Yeah. Uh, that's what it eats? Yep. It, well, while they're in the water? Yeah. Oh my God. They love ducks. Wow. Some people call them the little Diablos. They're like the devil fish. Wow. They eat everything. But this little Diablo is going in the cooler. Yeah. So it's good eating though? Oh yeah, it's the best fish in the world. Because ah. it takes, look at the size of that garbage. It tastes like, Baby ducks. 